Holy shit. It's a hard problem. Um, and how large are these tiles? I mean, they're like that big. That's it. Well, they're not all exactly the same size, but yeah, we have sort of a hexagonal tile. And they um, have to essentially be, you can't like 3D print the whole thing. You can't have one structure. It has to no. be tiles because it has to have that ability to move. Well, there's no 3D printer that's, I mean, the biggest ones are like maybe three feet, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no, you, you, you can't 3D print it. Um, and, and nor, nor would you, 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 you have to have something that can move. Right. Uh, it has to be able to, fle to flex. Um, like I said, you got expansion and contraction. Um, you you really drive like you you, you know you're, um, you're putting in li liquid oxygen, which is like minus three hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Um, actually, we 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 subcool it to you know minus three hundred and thirty degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it's very cold, and then it will be several hundred degrees, maybe a thousand degrees Fahrenheit potentially. Um, and went on re-entry. So you get this huge temperature swing. So the, the thermal expansion is substantial, and the whole, and, and you got thermal expansion and contraction combined with body bending. So you have to take the worst case, body bending and thermal expansion contraction. This was a very hard problem. Yeah. Yeah, Del delicate balance. 